Welcome back. Today, let's start with the tree, the baum. It's masculine because whenever you plant a tree, the earth goes And what do you call a bunch of trees? A forest is der Wald because it's made out of der baum. Now let's take a look at the parts of a tree. Just like der baum, most of the parts are masculine. We have der Stamm, the trunk, der Ast, the branch, and der Zweig, the twig. Der Stamm Baum means family tree, which makes you go, ah, hmm, hä? Unlike the other parts, the root is not masculine, it's feminine, die Wurzel. Why? Well, you can either think that it's because behind every great man is a great woman, or because the root sucks liquid. Your choice. There's also the Rinde, the bark of a tree. It ends with E, so it's pretty obvious that it's feminine. Now, the things that fall out of the tree are neuter, because it's out of the, uh, let's say, masculinity zone of a tree. The leaves fall off the tree in the winter, so the leaf is Das Blatt. And wood has to be cut out of a tree, so it's Das Holz. Masculine, feminine, neuter. Der Baum, the tree. Der Wald, the forest. Der Stamm, the trunk. Der Ast, the branch. Der Zweig, the twig. Die Wurzel, the root. Das Blatt, the leaf. Das Holz, the wood. Der Esel, the donkey. It's masculine because of the donkey from Schreck. Did you know that the name Schreck came from the German word Der Schreck, meaning fright or scare? Eh, I thought it was worth mentioning. Here's another masculine animal, der Hai, the shark. It's masculine because you can't wear a shark tooth necklace unless you're that dude at the beach. <laughs> der Esel, the donkey. Der Hai, the shark. Die Gegend, the area. It's feminine because of all the hot single women in your area. Die Gegend, the area. Now let's do some practice, guess what the word is after seeing the following images. The baum, the tree. The Wald, the forest. The Stamm, the trunk. The Ast, the branch. The Zweig, the twig. The Wurzel, the root. Das Blatt. The leaf. Das Holz, the wood. Der Esel, the donkey. Der Hai, the shark. Die Gegend, the area. Good gemacht! And that's all we have for today. I hope you have learned this ridiculous language, and I'll see you again in the next video. Tschüss!